Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, hi, Rachel and Priscilla. You guys are in unison. Yeah, I, we sounded like Charlie's <laughs> Angels there. <We> <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I'm broadcasting live across the nation, and I am so excited I get to talk to you guys about you, me, and her. And I want my audience to know I get to catch up with these stars that make up the popular polyamorous, you know, you, me, and her. Okay, girls, let's get started. Rachel, um, first of all, define, define what polyamorous is for my audience. I want to make sure they have a good understanding. Uh, I think I think there are a lot of definitions of polyamory, so it means different things to different people, but basically it's a relationship with um, more than two people. And then my understanding of it is the people can define their boundaries in different ways. Like maybe they're monogamous within that thruple or however many people are in the relationship or maybe it's more of an open relationship. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But in our case, Priscilla. it's a... Oh, sorry? Oh, no, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. And it, but in, in our case, uh, we're a thruple with Jack, yes. played by Greg Poehler okay. and Priscilla and myself. But you guys are doing it in a comedy, correct, Priscilla? Yeah, we are. I mean, is hopefully. It, does, yeah. it make it easier for, does that make it easier for you guys because it, it, you make it funny and it's not serious? I, I think we do a really, well, I hope we do a good, a good job of kind of coming in and out of the drama and the comedy because I think that that's real life. I think that, you know, life is full of serious and funny moments all, all combined in one. So I hope that, for me, what I really hope is that it's realistic. Okay, Rachel, yeah. my, one of my Facebook posts said that they watch the show. They want to know, would you do polyamorous in your real life? For me, I don't know if my husband would be a big fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think it works for a lot of people. I, I, I'd, be, I'd get jealous. Okay. And I think it'd be too Pris for me, it'd be a little complicated because I, I don't know. Okay. I, yeah. Priscilla, <laughs> do you think it's, it's, it's something that you could consider for your lives? You know, we just, we really think people... Once we start watching something, following something, I'm going to explain for the poster. You know, you guys become that character. Remember Rachel on Friends? That's who yeah. we still think she is, right. whether we see her in a shampoo commercial or not. That's who yeah. we think she is. That's so people right. start to believe this is who you are, and I think that's why the question. So, Priscilla, have you ever entertained that in your mind? I, I, you know, not told anybody. But yeah, no, I've definitely, I've definitely entertained it um, just because I think that – I believe that love is fluid, so I, I think it's a really beautiful thing to open yourself up to um, people regardless of their, you know, how they identify gender-wise. Um, for me, much like Rachel, I don't like to share, um, but I support it completely because I see the value in it. And I, um, being on the show and playing this character with Rachel and Greg even though both of them are married, but you know, like we've just really embraced that, and um, I see how it can work. Well, and I also think, like our characters, you never know, you know, what life could present you in certain circumstances. So y you could find yourself surprised, even though you're like, this wouldn't work for me, but yeah, you never know what life's going to bring. Yeah. So let me ask you. So uh, Rachel, we remember you from Seventh Heaven, so we're kind of shocked <laughs> you're on this, probably. I'm telling you. But do you what? What do you think? we as the audience can take away from that either of you your show oh can take away from the show um yeah you me and her what do you think i think we can take away from that hopefully uh audiences will have a good time watching it because i think it's really fun to watch um but also i think you know it's a show about relationships and i think people will find whether they're in polyamor ugh, polyamorous relationships <laughs> or not i think they'll identify with a lot of the struggles that our thruple go through Okay, uh, this Facebook post that I'm reading right now, they say, do you think you're changing the dynamics of relationships by portraying this actual real-life thing that's going on? Mm, good question. How about that's, you, Priscilla? That's a very big question yeah. with, a, a, you know, a big yeah. responsibility. I, for me, I hope that we inspire people to have conversations and communicate more within their relationships about their desires and what they want. That's what I've always hoped for. And I think it's nice for... You know, I, I would love to see more and more shows about different kinds of people in different kinds of relationships because it's always nice to see your life reflected in the media, yes, I think. in a real way. Yeah. Okay, you, me, her. Okay, next time we've got to have the husband on so we can get his take. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when do you guys want us to watch or is it just fluid? We can watch it anytime. <laughs> it's fluid, man. It's fluid. Um, no, tomorrow night <laughs> at 10 p.m. on DirecTV.
Audience knows. Audience knows. Yeah, see, I knew I would mess it up. <laughs> no, you did great. She did great. I messed that up every time. <laughs> I told you. I you still, it's technically still true. It's technically still true. It is. We'll go for AT&T Audience Network, and you guys know where to find it, but we know to Google to find you guys. You guys are doing a great job, so thanks for being on the Valder Baby Show. It's been my pleasure. Oh, thanks for thank having us. Thank you so us. much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.